The African Agricultural Technology Foundation says the recent restriction of foreign exchange for the importation of starch by the Central Bank of Nigeria is an instinctive to the cassava sector. Mr. George Machera, the Foundation Business Development Manager, who applauded the decision of the Apex Bank, said cassava farmers are paid less per ton of cassava in 2019 than what they were paid in 2018. Machera, who also head the Foundation Cassava Mechanization and Agro-Processing Project, said in 2018 they started AgriDrive Limited in order to provide agribusiness for farmers within Nigeria and other countries in Africa. Yeah, I'm happy to note the, the, the move by the, by the central government to restrict uh, the importation of starch products because that really is going to work as an incentive for the cassava sector in the sense that this year the prices were not really very friendly for the farmers. Remember last year, end of year, around October, November, uh, cassava was being, uh, farmers were being paid approximately 40,000 naira per time. And this year the price went down to 20,000 naira. So that actually acts as a disincentive for the farmers because at one point you are getting more than $100 per, per ton. Then all of a sudden you are getting $50. But now with this incentive that actually encourages more factories to produce starch based products. And when these starch-based products are produced and they are getting their raw material from cassava, it also means that these companies are going to demand more cassava from the farmers. And when more, when there's that high demand, that means more farmers are going to grow cassava, and that really is into making sure that uh, the economy improves in the sense that instead of importing and wasting a lot of foreign currency, that foreign currency is actually the money is actually used to develop the sector or the agriculture sector within Nigeria. What you realize after mechanization is that whilst we are working with a number of partners on the ground who are providing the services, we realize that there is that limited business argument within quite a number of some of our partners. So Agri came in to provide those mechanization services as a commercial entity. And within the mandate of agri-drive, what you are providing is not only mechanization, but you are actually opening up to ensure that we provide all the solutions, which include mechanization, defined as provision of plowing, harrowing, weeding, herbicide application, harvesting. But then we don't also stop there. We also include irrigation facilities, we also include processing, we also include warehouse systems, and also sales and marketing. That's how AgriDrive defines mechanization.